the mighty Thor with his lightning Mjolnir attack! Landfall have been putting in a lot of work keeping us updated on the weird new stuff coming in to tabs. Like this creepy sausage attack, moldy sausages coming for your legs. Or perhaps they're from that other amazing game that we all love, Stick Fight, yeah! And then obviously we get to see them, we oh that's so creepy, it never stopped being creepy when you launch them out of a bazooka in Stick Fight, until you see them get up on your legs, jumping and biting your groinal regions, oof! Oh, taken completely out. Bye bye, red team. Oh, they're still, they're still swarming. Squirming, swarming. That's what I meant to say because, look, I think from the looks of this, those are all normal archers. And we now get to see just normal arrows flying through the air. So maybe you can summon them as a normal unit, these snaky dudes? Perhaps, perhaps. But also, I would love to show you the obvious next stage in this evolution of the units that we would love to see because they've been adding in um, new physics systems they've been uh, they've actually made a video which I'll show you later they've been adding in things that let them create ridiculously awesome and overpowered and fun to play with units so let's go on to that next because sometimes the only rea reaction you have is ah! oh god it's terrifying well, oh, it skipped. It skipped a bunch of stuff. Let's go back to the beginning so we can ooh, all over again. Stop skipping! Ah! Why? Here we go. Ooh, there's so much slow mo in these videos, and ah, uh, I think he's dead. Okay. Oh no, not enough snakes. There's never enough snakes. Of course, they need to continue to look. Just see them go wee. Just over the top there is so funny to me. This is why Tabs is gonna be amazing. I know a lot of you in the comments are like, give us Tabs, but if they don't make it properly, then you're gonna be disappointed when it comes out. So this is them taking their time and doing, oh, look at that, this, they're, they're trying to box him, like whoosh, whoosh, left snake, right snake. And now I guess we can have the Dark Souls of physics games because they've added in a dodge system, which, it looks weird. It's like, oh, I'm gonna get you, and then he's like, no! <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, whatever, I give up. There's a lot of giving up for, for these tabs people. The physics is too much for them, but the new units that we get to see next are kind of some of my favorite because we've seen them before, but not like this. Let me show you. Just three people doing the normal thing. Oh, giant balls right in your... In, and then... <laughs> that image of him just going, getting inverted and going, okay, this is my life now. Ah! I can see my house from here. Whew. Imagine that. That would actually be a lot of fun. But how much helium do they have in those balloons? That's incredible to lift a person. So I think it's time that we experimented with some of these in the sandbox to see where the game is now and where it will be in the future because I will show you all the amazing new units that we're going to uh, get in the full game in a bit, but I want to see if I can recreate something that throws things around like the balloon units. We have archers, obviously, we've got huachers, but we don't have anything that throws things around unless, unless, where is it? Unless we use the barrel rollers. Do they explode people? Vikings, help me out here. <laughs> Many, many sacrifices, because they throw themselves around, and that's that's pretty clear to see, but look! Boom! Right in the air. How far do they fly, though? Not very. Oof, whoa, what, what's up with your huacha here? It's, um... God, okay, the physics is, is brooked. And what actually made it through? Oh my god, those Vikings are hardy. I thought they could just resist all the ice, because that's where they live. And then, um, you, with your wrecking ball. Whew, that does not look comfortable, but you're off it now. <laughs> you can only do the splits for so long. Headbutt, you win! They don't know it though, because they're all staring at the floor. So that didn't really throw anything in the air. What, what can do that? What, uh, what, what can do that? Maybe a couple of these? 
and a few hundred of these. Because they, they throw things in the air. Let's see. Whee! This is the closest we've gotten to flying ever. Nope, this just kind of bowls them over. <laughs> Uh, hmm, okay. Maybe not super peasants, maybe dark peasants. I just want to see Tabsman in the air. I wonder how many peasants it takes to get rid of a dark peasant. There we go! See, I wonder if the balloons let them down again. Whoa! He was like, no, I'm staying in the air. You can't make me. <laughs> You're done. No! Off. Oh, Oh, that kind of tumble roll stuff looks hilarious and f Oh, and there's even one caught in a tree! <laughs> the tumbling and rolling stuff as they poof, do 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 do. Oh! And they're not done. We're coming in again for another try. But it's it's too much. He's stuck it stuck his butt in the air. Is Whoa? Really? Oh, you tried to the last. That's nice. So this is the closest we can get to flinging things in the air. So let's move on to some of my favorites. Now, one-on-one -on -one duels might not interest you, but I think they look super cool. Like anime fights, like I've said in previous episodes. Look at this. It's like slice and deflection and then that really heavy maul thwacking on the head. We can recreate these to see the comparison between this awesome new physics system and the old one. We'll do that in a bit, but there are so many more because they're like, why not equip everything with shields? Why have one shield when you can have two and beat someone round the head with it? These things all happen. So we need a crusader versus shield person. We need, uh, there's one with a, a club. Sorry, I punched the mic there. There's one with a club versus one with a sword to see if they can deflect and stuff. <laughs> and then there's this one with this like, I need a wee. It's awkward. Do I, do I go to the loo or do I fight? This, what do we? <laughs> this is where you both agree to have a timeout, a cup of tea, and loo break because you're both doing the pee pee dance. But yeah, apparently things get pretty awkward and you disable the attack function. But then, look at these two! They're just like, yeah, attacking, yeah, whatever, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> those duels were cool, and obviously, Tabs getting those updates is gonna be amazing. But this. This is the single most amazing one-on-one -on -one duel I have ever seen. Check this out. Hwa! Block! Stab! Look at it! It caught it under his- That's like, I mean, probably really dangerous because you're- I don't know, maybe if you want shorter armpit hair with- <laughs> by catching a sword with your shoulder, but- Oh, that's so cool! So we need to try those to just compare and show you how far this game has come, come with the Barbarian versus, I think it's the Footman? Should we have a Footman or a Thief? Or maybe both? Let's try the Thief first and then the Footman to see, see the comparison. Because they just flop around at the moment. Boop! Is that mutually assured destruction? No! It's a red victory. As you, he looks so happy about it. We did it! Great job. Okay, so is this... I want to check. Best of three. How's it gonna go? No, always a red victory. D victory. Le no. Le le trying out the footman now because I really want to see some cool one on one duels with sword clashes and. giving up? Everyone gave up? Are you sure? Sure, that was a red victory. <laughs> that just doesn't seem like much. Ugh. Okay, there's. He's an airhead because clearly there's nothing in there. Oh, it's just a shame that the one on one duels. Oh, oh, he's doing the thing. He's catching it beneath his armpit. And then, as normal, they're like, let's go for a sleep. <laughs> he's actually put his hand under his head like, <laughs> given up. It's, it's bedtime. Sometimes I feel that way. It's very relatable, this game. I want to try this one next. And unfortunately, there's no one with just two shields. So we're going to just use two shields. One and put them in format. Can we put them in formation one, two? No? How, how come you can't put them that close together? Oh, that's weird. Should we put put them behind each? No, there's like an area of effect that stops them from doing it. Okay. Two shields. Whoa! In the, in the ground. 
It's so- it's actually really close. The bashing- No! You dodge round, and you got that sweet hit in the Achilles heel. See if best of three. Cause right now, oh you you're getting round, you're getting round. No, you launched your shield, and is your shield your weak point? You fell over. That you died. Oh my god! The first hit is the best. So it's possible for these shields to win, but in the new physics system, it's way more likely. 2v1, who would have known that this uh, duel wouldn't have gone, woo, <laughs> gone gone the, the way we thought it would. I want to try this one next as well, but obviously there's no like attacking system that works in the same way. And do we even have axes in this version? I'm looking for axes, we've got, oh, we've got Vikings. Yeah, Vikings, it's not two-handed axes, which would be amazing. And we do have the axe unit. Um. Which should we use? Let's let's put the axe unit there versus uh, a footman and the viking unit there versus a footman because I can't remember. It's been so long since I saw these two fight. Oh. Footmen aren't as good as they are in, in the new version of tabs. Yep, you got it, buddy. Great job. So, hang on. Let's take a quick look at the one over there. Ooh. Ooh. That is... A hefty blow, grr indeed. Wait, what happened to those two? Did they just get each other? Boop! Oh, they did, didn't they? You survived though, whoa! Getting a bit close, trying to hug me. Respect the bubble, the personal bubble space of the camera. I'm here to observe, not to join in. Coming up next is the incredible, the godlike Thor. Mighty Thor swings his hammers this is definitely work that's happening on the Vikings. Because look at that! That's incredible. He knocks one, he does like a, a backwards head bend. Like, I wish I could slow slow mo this. D Future Josh, slow mo that! Right there. That was like a backwards bend, and he watched the hand sail over him, and he was like, Not today! Um, and then the guy just fell over. Did he even hit him? Hang on. Boof! Oh, so, so powerful. And then the other guy gives up. He's like, um, it's Thor and I'm all alone. I pretend to be dead. <laughs> and obviously, the mighty Thor with his final lightning Mjolnir attack. That. <laughs> Chain lightning attacks. We saw one in the previous episode with the lightning archer. Now we've got a lightning Thor hammer Mjolnir attack that looks incredible. It could just take out a whole formation of these Tabs dudes. It's awesome. It's so cool because you're going to have to think about the formation of your people. You can't just stack them up. You've got to have them like maybe staggered in different positions. If you if you line them up like the conga line like I invented when in back in the early days of tabs ah going going back in time and having a good a good laugh with the conga lines those were fun days you should watch those videos those early tabs videos to show you how far this game has come anyway look at that lightning spreading out everywhere I thought when I first saw this that that explosion would have killed Thor but no Thor's got it no problem with Thor here so thank you so much for watching these tabs updates. Hopefully in the future we will be able to show you the newest version of the game and we're playing it. I don't know when, we'll see. But until next time, mustache.